Shark is back once again. Let's proceed to Pinwheel. All right, whenever you come out of here, <laughs> uh, watch out because uh, there's those Bone Wheel enemies. And there they are, coming towards me right now. There's one of them, anyway. Dodge out of the way, wait for him to stop spinning. And take them out. There's a bunch of them down here, so try not to get cornered. Whoa, there we go. You, get out of the way, get out of the way! Oh sweet, bone wheel shield. Drop their shield for me. That's pretty rare. Alright, kind of dark. Can't see. I think that's one, right? Yeah, come on. Just dodge out of the way real quick. You drop anything now. There we go. What was that? It, like stop mid roll. Ah, a bunch of them down here, man. And there are these guys again. Roll. I see you up there. I never changed my uh, my spells, did I? Great combustion. Let's we'll see if that works on you. Why are you backing away, dude? I'll take that hit. That's fine. White Titanite chunk. Roll. Heal up. Um, that item you have to fall to from up there. I think. I hear something. Let's go investigate, shall we? There's a conjurer right past here. He gave me the skull lantern, so nice. Just making sure there's nothing around me because I'm hearing all kinds of stuff. Hearing footsteps. I'm kind of backtracking here. This is not the way to pinwheel. I'm just trying to see if I miss something. Come on. Quit trading licks with them like that. Red and white shield. Huh? So yeah, this is uh, as you can tell by the, the uh, discoloration there. There's another little trap to fall down. But I think I want to fall down this one. There's an item here. This was where that black knight was uh, was standing before he dropped down to fight me. There's an item that I missed. Let's go see. Somebody just died there. <clears throat> Is there stairs? Or a ladder, I mean? Yeah. I think there's a Titanite demon. Item. Woohoo! Lar Soul, yay! Yeah, there we go. Titanite Demon, right there. You can see his silhouette. And he's a toughie. 
can't even target them yet. So this is a way to one of the covenants. Um, you need to get an item that he's guarding back there. You can see it. And those items you have to give to uh, to the covenant guy, leader, whatever. What do I want to use here? Let's use Great Chaos Fireball. See how he likes this. Yeah, there we go. He didn't like that. Swing twice. And it does some damage. I'll keep saying it, I'll say it again, man. Pyromancy, my god. So overpowered. Eyes of Death. Let's uh let's go see. Let me let me show you. If you haven't seen it. Get all nice and cozy. You have to wait a bit for the cutscene to activate. Don't mind me, just taking a nap in Dark Souls. Gotta get my rest in somewhere, right? Ugh. Oh, yeah, coast is clear. Skeleton. Skeleton closes you in and pushes you. Coast clear? Yep. So you're in the Tomb of the Giants. Uh, this area actually is where the uh, the last Lord Soul that I need. Uh, this is the actual boss fight. Like this is the actual place. So if you want to join his covenant, there he is. In there. If you want to join his covenant before you kill him, then. Uh, this is the way you do it. But I think once you kill him, obviously you can't you can't level up in the um, in the covenant anymore. So that's how you enter it. And I think you get a you get a pretty sweet sword. You know what? It doesn't matter. Why not? Let's enter the covenant. Does he give you the sword right off the bat? Yes, he does, and he gives you a miracle. And you can offer your uh, eyes of death to uh, gain rank in the covenant, but I'm not going to be doing that. A lot of people uh, will kind of like suicide run down here at the very beginning of the game just to get that sword. Uh, I know I can't wield it. Let's see if I can find it. Not that way. There it is. It does mega damage, man. And it scales off of strength and dexterity, and it does poison? I think it's, yeah, poison damage. 24 strength, 13 dexterity to wield it. I can't touch that, but. Grave Lord Nito, first of the dead. Miasma of death exudes from the sword a veritable toxin to any living being. Is it toxic? Or is it just poison? It's toxic, man. This this sword is the sword to get. That's for sure. I'm coming for you, boy. Do I have the point gesture? No. 
Um, let me switch out that. You! That's right. I just flipped you off. I'll do it again. Coming for you! Ha ha ha. I love it. Alright, so the way to get back out of it here is the same way you came back in. Or the way you came in is right through here. Hop in and wait for the cutscene. Let me go ahead and skip that. And skip that. So yeah, nice hidden uh, hidden covenant. Now I have to figure out where I have to go again. Back down here. Yeah. Onward to Pinwheel. More camera. Climb down again. And if you don't know how to slide down ladders, um, just hold down the uh, the B button. Just, uh, just to let you know. Where am I going? Here. Drink. All right. Pinwheel is next. I just noticed I have three humanity in the top left. Sweet. And my, I guess that's called your active stock. Because you can actually lose those humanity. You can't lose the ones that you pick up as items. Right through here. And you have to take a little fall damage. And then the, bo the boss fight starts. So let's do it. Pretty creepy looking uh, creature here. I'm coming for you, man. So yeah, that's the pinwheel fight. <laughs> Probably one of the weakest bosses in the game, actually. Um, they did a little bit of damage to me, because he kind of like replicates himself. So you have to figure out which one it is, but you keep focused on the one you're hitting, and psh, he goes down in no time. So, what did I pick up? A mask or something? I think it's all the way down here. Maybe not. Horns. Where is it? I know I picked up something. I think I did. Maybe I did not. Am I just not seeing it? Oh, uh, I thought I did. I thought he always dropped something. Oh, here it is. The uh, Mask of the Mother. What an idiot. <laughs> now let's look at it. Mask of the Mother. This, let's see, the Necromancer <clears throat> slightly raises your HP. As you can see, picks it up about a hundred, a little over a hundred hit points, I guess. And go up the ladder. So this is the area, as you can tell, how uh, it just got really, really dark. If I did not have 
Actually, I'm going to switch out now. Since I picked up the Sunlight Maggot. There we go. This helps out immensely in this area. As you can tell, you can now see. And if you didn't have this, this little helmet thing, then you could use... Um, where is it at? You can use the... Uh, The skull lantern here, which light you know brightens up the area. Watch, let me show you. Take that off. See how dark it gets. So now I use the uh, lantern. That's the alternate way of doing it. But obviously, if you do this, you can't block. You just have to attack and dodge. Or you can switch back to your shield real quick. It goes pitch black as soon as you do that. So that's why I was so glad that I picked up this sunlight maggot. Let there be light. There's an item over here, and there's a shortcut back the way we came if you want to do that. But I'm not dropping back down there gonna proceed in the level this part can get pretty tough but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here and uh, next up the tomb of giants catch you guys later bye bye